strong enough to explore the tomb ahead. This tomb has not been plundered. Its mysteries may still be intact, but so might its traps. Take great caution. I just can't move forward. Can you do this without me? Whoa. I can't even see what's blocking me. I, I think you're on your own for this one. You will have to face the challenges of this tomb alone. Are you ready? Do not heed the words of the Jedi Council. The Republic will fall if we do not act now. Already the Mandalorians have taken three systems along the rim. They will only grow more powerful with time. Come stand with me. We will use our might to help the Republic in its time of need. Join Revan and I. Together we will battle this menace. The Jedi Council is wise, but will take too long to deal with this threat. We must act now to stop the Mandalorians. I have heard of you. Your masters speak well of you, of your skills in battle. Join us. But the war is real. The suffering is real. The death toll the Mandalorians inflict are all very real. The Mandalorians must be stopped. And if the war ends with their defeat, then anything else is a small price to pay. The Council seems content to watch, to debate, while entire systems fall to the Mandalorians. If we don't act now, there may be no Republic army to assist in the future. I sense you will join us. What are your reasons? A good reason. Delay would have brought ruin, and there was much suffering. You had to act. It was within our power to end the war, and the Council chose to debate behind closed doors while planets burned. Yes, that's right. Without us, the Republic would have been no more. And the Council? Their vaunted wisdom bred only in action. And that would have led to destruction greater than anything born of the dark side. So, if you could do it all again, the real question is, would you? The Mandalorians await on the edge of space, eager to crush the Republic. You know how this turns out. Would you do it any different, knowing what it costs you? Knowing what it costs the rest? So knowing all that would transpire, would you still follow Revan and I? Excellent. And now you are all alone. Would you join me now? You didn't follow Revan and I down our path. Join us. Your journey hasn't ended yet. She didn't join us that day. But in time, she came to our way of thinking. And even before then, she wavered and wondered what would have happened. It is a familiar path. There were those who wished to follow you to war, yet remain behind. They came to hate you for the choices they wished to make. Are you so certain? 
Every step along the way, we did what we thought was right. Perhaps the same path lays before you. But the time of words are done. Now it is time you experienced the full power of the dark side. <laughs> Tom says we've lost another heavy droid transport. How can we break through the Mandalorian lines without support? The path is mined and the place crawling with enemies. I know we've got our orders to press forward, but we're at quarter strength. We can't, General. It's impossible. We need to retreat. General, it would be suicide to go forward. There's just too few of us. We already lost half the men just getting to the path. They've got the rest of the company pinned down by the crash site. You can't possibly ask the troops to go forward. If you ask us to charge, will it make a difference? Will our sacrifice mean something? We... we will press forward if you ask it. The path is mined. If you ask us to charge, there will be losses, General. Thank you, General. Thank you. And now we fight! You've revisited the dark moments of your past, and now you must face the present. Your confusion is natural. The others and I will help you understand. Get away from her! She's a dark Jedi. Atten, I've had enough of your snide contempt. No, I won't allow her to corrupt you. I will protect you, even from yourself. Hey, what's the commotion here? Stay out of this, Beodor. This is a personal dispute between Atten and myself. You're threatening Atten with a lightsaber, and I'm supposed to just stay out of it? No. Three of you would challenge me? You sorely underestimate the power of the Force. Think again, Kreia. Your dark influence will end. Your friends are all arrayed against me. Will you stand for this? I will be honest with you. I have fallen to the dark side. Does this change your decision?
you face in this tomb were real, but these images of the past serve to prepare you for your future. Surely you have felt what awaits. Events are shaping themselves about you, seeking to draw you into their center. Take care not to give in to vanity and arrogance. This breeds complacency and stagnation, as exhibited by the Jedi Council. Their prolonged inaction led inevitably to their downfall. The galaxy will bend itself only to those of strength and conviction. You may not yet understand what you learned here. That wisdom will come in the future. Search the room you are in. You should be able to unlock a passage that leads outside the tomb. Does it matter? Of course it does. Such titles allow you to break the galaxy into light and dark. Categorize it. Perhaps I am neither. And I hold both as what they are, pieces of a whole. Know that I am your teacher and that is enough. What do you wish to hear? That I once believed in the Code of the Jedi? That I felt the call of the Sith? That perhaps once I held the galaxy by its throat? That for every good work that I did, I brought equal harm upon the galaxy? That perhaps what the greatest of the Sith Lords knew of evil they learned from me? What would it matter now? There is only so much comfort in knowing such things, and it is not who I am now. There are dark places in the galaxy where few tread, ancient centers of learning, of knowledge, but I did not walk alone. To be united by hatred is a fragile alliance at best. My will was not law. There were disagreements, ambition, and hunger for power. There are techniques within the Force against which there is no defense. mistakes and use that knowledge to become greater than I. That is all I ask of you, and that is all I desire. In you all my hopes rest for the future, for the Force. If it means so much to you, then this I swear to you upon my life, upon our lives, that when your training is complete I will answer everything. 
There shall be no more shadows between us, only truth that exists between master and apprentice.